Hello, good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, I feel we can hear you. Okay, thank you. And uh, can you see my screen? Is it all okay for my screen? Yes, so. Is it okay for your son in in the new inter group? Yeah. Okay. If you have any question, you can just uh, open your voice, and also you can just uh, write your question in the inter group, new group or old group.
it now they continue to cover about two hours of computer cosmetics uh, and the way they know that this cause is called the uh, history of mass but in fact it is uh, very important for our computer science so uh, why we just learned the computer mass that means we never you all of them know how the computer works for us. What we know that the computer is a, is a machine, and sometimes it is a code machine, but why computer can code with uh, many the complex the, the real questions, for example. You can imagine if you have no computer or related the, uh, the machine, such as a smartphone or any other the computer, such as now if you have no computer or no computer, with Technology that we cannot to uh, discussing online for the uh, different the countries together to uh, discussing or just uh, to uh, online discussing together or just to have a course online. Okay, so it is uh, just uh, because of the computers. So how the computers work for us it is uh, uh, very important. So. This course just make you to understand why the computer can understand how the human uh, uh, human world or human meaning. So, so uh, this course maybe it is related to the math or logic, but in fact it is the basis of the computer the science, computer science. So we should just know more about it is the the reason or the application or the uh, just uh, it's the basic the idea of how the computer works. So that means this course it is make make us understand how the computer to understand how the human words or human language or human idea. So uh, maybe you can imagine that if you let the computer work for you, you cannot just use the how the human human words. For example, you cannot do. Uh, or cannot to let the computer to or ask a computer to uh, work but for example uh, you say please compute let the computer to input the hello world you cannot just uh, use your mouse or you you just uh, to say hello world and then computer to output your hello world no you should use the computer language computer language then computer can output the uh, hello world that means because you have already to learn the program language, okay? So computer only understands the computer programming language. This is the program language. This the computer can understand program language. We cannot use our human language. So maybe this is our human language, okay? This is our human language. So human language maybe it is related to uh, our the real question. That means that. Uh, our real question is uh, described in human language. For example, if you want to solve your question, how to compute the the sum of from one to one thousand, for example, if you let the computer to help you to compute the final result of this sum from one to one thousand. Okay, this is our the question. But this question is described in our human language. So, human language the computer cannot. Direct and understand this question. So we should the translate. That means we should translate this human language into our uh, the program language. Then okay? computer can understand this. So from this human language translate into the program language, it is just the call it is the translating. Okay. So translating translating our human language. So sometimes, for example, here is a human language, maybe described in English. It's a, here is just using the English. Maybe you can use in your uh, the, uh, native language. For example, in China, maybe the, the human language or this question is described in the Chinese, and then maybe in the other language, the modern language, no matter it is a human language, okay? That means Human language you cannot to make understand by computer. You should to translate this human language into the programming language. This is our the work for our human. 
they have it can work fine. That means you cannot just uh, input the strings of the question described in human language, for example, in the English word or in the Chinese word, the computer cannot understand what it means. So you should make a writing down your program language. Maybe this program language can be seen as, uh, maybe you can say you are using the uh, C or C++, or maybe you are just using Java, or maybe you are just using uh, Python, no matter any others. So on, this is the a program language. Then computer can to understand what it means, then can run out the final result for you, and then finally can solve your real question. So it is uh, important. But how to translate? How to transfer our real world question into the programming language? This is the this is the uh, the work of our course. That means our course just to help you to to translate our real question into the program language. That means if no our course, maybe you also can write down your program language, just as you have already learned the program language course, no matter you can write down your your programming codes or our program language code, no matter. But if you can know well our course, then you can know well about how the computer works for us, then you can write down the efficiently your program codes because you know how the computer works, how to make all the real question uh, translate to the programming codes or how to using codes to solve your real question or otherwise that means you can know how to hold it for your real question or how to uh, writing down the, the right or efficient programming code to solve your real question. It is very important. Maybe in the future you have work as a software engineer or just have maybe uh, have just the, uh, the software or the cleaners and then you, you make the design the software. So you should know well about this map or this gap from the real question and real question is described in our human language and then how to uh, translate to the program level. But if you directly translate, maybe it is difficult, so we should need some the middle layer. This is the middle layer. So maybe we can say this is the higher layer, this is the high level or high layer. And uh, here is maybe the low layer computer programming codes or program language, maybe sometimes it's the machine code, it is a low low layer. And it is a middle layer. And a middle layer, it is just a record, it is logic. And this logic maybe it is our learned from our this course. And personally we adjust the chapter one or chapter two, it is related to this basic the logic. So if you want to make the computer understand our real question, you should to translate your real question into the program language, but we didn't to uh, translate it directly into the program language, but that means we should to, in our human mind, that, or that means you are just uh, uh, prepared, you are writing down your code, but it directly not direct your code, you should to translate your real question into this logic. So this is how this uh, and uh, the chapter, the translate of the real question or just the human nature words or just the human language into the logic expression. And from the logic expression to program language, maybe it's easy because we have many uh, the, the, real, the practice of tools, for example, the rules. Maybe in the future, you will learn, uh, you will learn some the software engineering to us or maybe you can uh, relate it to these uh, rules to us and we to us just uh, can to uh, directly to translate our the logic expression to uh, to write down your final code directly that, that, that means in the future maybe you can using computer to help us to write down your final codes directly or automatically by the computer Maybe you can just output the CC, 
Say and and C plus plus or Java or Python code by computer driven, but it cannot to input your human language. Then he can to write that uh, your final code automatically. You should to give them the logic, the logic expression. Then as on this logic expression, computer can write down uh, himself or herself the final code. So. This is our work or our course work just to, to make or to translate our human language into the logic expression. So uh, it is how uh, this course the work. And we have already to learn many about the logic uh, of letters. We have know about the the not this is the not this is the symbol. The symbol maybe is the logic, okay? And uh, the real we can say the human language, and this is means is not okay. And we also have known this logic symbol and 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 or conjunction. And this means it is uh, just uh, uh, related to our human language words and and this is all is conjunction. And here you see is all. That means when we meet this. Uh, uh, Connect words not and then we can translate this logic operator. We can use this symbol. Uh, and uh, similarly, if you just uh, uh, to using the symbol, the arrow, and we call it the if, then it just means it's a condition. And this uh, connect words just uh, uh, connect the two simple words. And then here is the by just the by condition. And this by condition we just call if and only if. If and only. If. So you will find uh, this means we can just have uh, the translate of the English word. So we just uh, first we just connect or just the uh, uh, connect the many the connect words and this connect words can be seen as a logic operator and then we just using these connect words to compound uh, many these uh, uh, words so what means the uh, just the proposition or proper and the proper means we just call it it is just to the simple sentence so what we our work is to translate the human language into the logic expression and the logic expression we know that for each of the purpose each of the purpose mean mean that it is just the uh, uh, based on it is our the uh, purpose for example here maybe we have first uh, we just give the uh, concept this proposition and what means the proposition this proposition we have know that this proposition is the basic variable or basic the the basic the symbol we can say it just can use p and q and this p and q just as this the simple sentence so this the simple sentence we can translate into the proposition and this proposition can be seen as our real this proposition just can be seen as the, the simple sentence. And this simple sentence is it is of the simple the human language. So human language is a simple sentence can be translated into proposition. We in fact this proposition, we just have said this is a high level, and the simple sentence we can translate into the proposition proposition. This is the middle layer, okay. And what means the low layer program language? And the program language just means it is can be seen as a variable. This is the uh, programming language. Okay. So maybe you can just remind that when you want to design or when to write down your programming code, first you should to uh, define many of the variables. So what it means variables? So these variables means you, you will find for each variable is related to the 
each is the pur purpose, it is the logic, it is the logic layer, okay. Logic layer, in the programming layer, it is for each of the variable. For example, if you just, for example, int x equal to 1. So it is the x, the variable x, what it means x. In programming language, it is a variable, okay? and it is an integer variable. Okay? But in the middle layer, in logic, what it means a variable? It is a proposition. It is the proposition that means this uh, concept of proposition. So proposition is the concept in the logical layer, but it is related to the variable in our the programming layer. And what it means in the just the, our the human layer or high layer, high layer for each variable, it is uh, means uh, simple sentence, simple sentence. Okay. For each of the simple sentence, we can have to check as the variable. So. If you have the logic layer, you can directly to write down your codes, no, no matter or the problem. You are just maybe you are just done a visit probably or private years or private semester. You just use this. You are just to define your variable directly to some special sentence or special meaning. But in fact, your variable is directed to the simple sentence. So now, of course, it is this middle layer. The middle layer means that it's logic. So for each variable, it is directed to the proposition. And what it means, the, the logic operator. Logic operator, we have no that. Logic operator, uh, this is a symbol not and or condition and by condition. So this can be seen as the logic operator. And the logic operator, it is directed to, to of the middle layer, it is a, a logic operator. And what it means, the logic operator, what it means is just uh, of the programming layer. So for the programming layer, this is the middle layer. For programming layer, maybe not, it is just like this. It is just uh, the what different language, you may be using a different symbol to, to describe this uh, logic operator. For the conjunction, maybe and, Maybe you can just use this. And for the uh, disjunction or maybe you are using this symbol. This uh, here is uh, maybe uh, is uh, this symbol is middle layer. And these are the human human words. So it is a high layer. And for this symbol, maybe it's a programming layer. We can call it the low layer. And for this, if condition statement Maybe for the different word, maybe just the keyword if. The keyword just using this keyword if. If then and maybe sometimes it has the, the keyword else. So this keyword just related to this symbol and also is the uh, related to our the human language if then else. And uh, this by condition maybe we depend using the by condition for the for this uh, uh, to define the new the uh, uh, programming symbol because we have already know that the by condition P by condition Q it is uh, uh, equivalent to means P condition Q and Q P. That means you can just use this if then else twice just using it. If then else this is the keyword to describe this the by condition. So Maybe you can just find this uh, uh, keyword or just the uh, just the variable, the variable, the operators in in the, the concrete the programming language. So, so this uh, maybe it is the translate. You can find this the translate from uh, the, uh, the simple sentence into the propositional proposition, and uh, for the. The connect word because we know that the compound we are real question may be described as a compound word. Compound word it connects many the uh, the simple words and the simple the simple sentence and this simple sentence we can describe that as the proposition and also it is related to the no layers of uh, variables, a layer and a program layer. Okay, so the translate this work just to uh, translate about. Uh, for example, this maybe this is our the 
the real question or real sentence. So real sentence we just uh, just uh, the uh, divide this the uh, complex the sentence or just the compound sentence into the many the simple sentence. Here is the simple sentence P and Q. That means here it is a simple sentence and here is another simple sentence and this is also the third simple sentence. So for each of the simple sentence, we just using this uh, preposition. This is a logical layer preposition. And if for your uh, just the low layer programming code, it is a variable. If you can use the variable P, Q, R, this is a three variable, okay? And this, if it's just the logic expression or logical layer, it is a preposition. And then we should to be careful for this the connection word. This the connection word, we just translate these connection words into the logic operator. Okay. So only if only if we have already known that it is just the condition because we have known that condition have many, for example, here. This is the condition we can translate out the real uh, connector word or just the real the sentence just that you did the logic symbol connect okay a uh, condition condition so you will find it is, can be implied only if just also only if p only if q it is the same as if p q so that means p condition q so uh should be careful this is the understand but this is a word for our human how to translate how to understand how the real sentence meaning it is our human work because the different the people maybe have the different the understanding words then you maybe write down the different the codes and maybe you be different the logic operator maybe so it depends on the translation so translating is very important it depends on how to translate your words so the translate it is first to connect your uh, simple sentence and then to uh, abstract your connected words. And finally, so here is maybe it is only if it is just using this symbol, not a symbol, and uh, or just using uh, this logic symbol. So the finally, we can just uh, use this the logic expression to uh, describe this uh, real sentence or real page. So, this is maybe our the human, this is our human language. Or you can say the real question. And here is the, uh, just the logic expression. You can just the middle layer. And from this middle layer, we can write down your final code. Your, your code, it is a low layer. So for the low layer, it is easy to write down your code. So why we didn't to write down the first the code? It is because it is not our course work. If we just write down your code, it's the program language course work. We are just giving you this uh, logic expression, and based on this logic expression, you can to write down your uh, different to your programming codes. You can just write down the Java code. You can write down C, C plus or maybe you can just uh, write down any other. Uh, Go language, just like uh, and you can based on this uh, logic expression. So middle layer, it is can be seen as a general, general logic expression. That means computer can understand your logic, your logic expression. You can just uh, uh, translate this uh, logic uh, using the code or using the tools directly to translate into your final code or based on this logic then you can write down by yourself your code this is also our work uh, the first the maybe uh, just the experiment uh, we have a four in you know, our course we have the four experiments experiments practice and the uh, final experiment on youtube to submit your experiment record but you're just using your codes or programming language. As in programming language, you can choose any your your Arabic or your Maki using the code line down. You 
it's the relativity of the equation or to the arbiter of the final result. So this is a translate. So from this translate, you can just uh, to understand we first to uh, to just uh, to connect the simple word and then to uh, connect uh, uh, just the translate or abstract the connect words in translate into the logical vector. And then finally, you can just combine these things into the logical expression. So we did the work for this. Uh, it's another example. That means we are uh, task is translate this into uh, into the logical equation. And from this, we just uh, to uh, connect some uh, uh, to abstract the two simple sentences and for each sentence for p we just describe this sentence and for q just do this and uh, here we have a special word not is that this can be connected and also we just have a, this have the vein so for the vein we can understand this is a condition word the condition word we can just use in this symbol and here it is a node related to the node so for the simple sentence it is connected to the propositional propositional or variable and for the connector words it can be seen the logical operator to compound them together then we have this so for concretely we can just have some the video this video also to describe how to translate our uh, translate the proposition logic statement. We want to first look at how to translate English sentences into propositional logic. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our statement and identify any atomic propositions, which essentially means I'm going to look at my sentence and look at what would be propositions. So if I go to the store or the movies, I want to do my homework. So to me, I see I go to the store and then I go to the movies and do my homework. So I'm going to let P represent. So uh, this is just the, this, the two steps to translate your English or our human uh, human language or human question or human language into the logic expression. We have mentioned that this logic expression is the middle layer. So here, just uh, just by the have a few steps. The first, that you should to uh, connect or should to identify to, to find the, the atomic. This the atomic proposition is just can be seen directed to the, the simple sentence. Simple sentence that means in the subject as the predicate and the object, just this simple sentence. Okay. And the step two, just the, here means the determine the, the logic connecting, means just the, the uh, connect words, just the connect many the simple sentences, the real word or real sentence or real question. And this the connect words translate into the logic expression. As the, uh, this uh, uh, this sentence example is just this compound sentence. So this is just the have the uh, uh, one two uh, the sentence. Okay, maybe you just uh, use this uh, translate. Okay. So probably just to choose the simple sentence P. There are a lot of correct ways to translate these. So I'm showing one correct way. So P is I go to the store. Q is I go to the movies. Okay, Q just the means a lot of sentence, simple sentence. R is I do my homework. Now it is a good idea. So notice here, I'm looking at I won't do my homework. I'm not going to represent R as I won't do my homework. We always represent the proposition as the positive, then if it's a negative, we just negate it. So the first thing I did now is I looked at my P, Q, and R, 
And now I want to identify any logical connectives. And remember those connectives are negations, or disjunctions, or conjunctions, or implications, any of those things that we just got done learning about in our last couple of videos. So what I see is I see an if then, and notice there is no then, but here is where that then will go. I see an or, and I see a negation. So let's take a look at how am I uh, sorry, I just uh, see your question on the inter group. You can say you can't hear anything. Hello? You can't hear. You can't hear. We can hear. Okay, okay, okay. We can hear. Okay, thank you. I continue. Now keep in mind, when you are translating, you need to write this. You need to verify or identify what proposition represents what phrase. So if I go to the store, I want to move this. So I'm going to start with the store for the movies. That would be go to the store or go to the movies. I'm saying if I do that, now I'm going to say this is if then. So if that occurs, then what happens? Then I won't do my homework. So R is do my homework. So I'm going to say not R. So the way I can translate this is P or Q. If P or Q, then not R. So uh, for this, uh, this can be seen as the real question or real just the sentence or human language. So if you write down your final code, that means to describe this uh, sentence meaning. So maybe you, if you, you can imagine, if you have no this logical uh, expression help, you, you are just directly write down your final codes for describe this uh, their real language or this the real language meaning. Maybe you should to how to test how to using the, the codes variable to describe which one of them. Maybe. Maybe you, you can just have using the different people, maybe have using the different uh, variable to describe the different, maybe have different, uh, and then you have different uh, codes. But in fact, you have this, uh, we are not translating, we are not describing directly your final code. You should to using your logic, sometimes you will find you can pass your final codes to. Uh, combine or just the prepare, prepare, but finally you will find it is not the, the final result, you know, not expected. Sometimes maybe it is a logical, logical wrong. That means it is a logical reason to make the final wrong result. So you should to use the logic. So uh, you can first to translate this uh, logic expression. And first on this logic expression, you can write down your code. Directly, that I can do properly. Because if we just translate this, then you can say uh, if, you can to write down your codes, say sometimes if P or Q, then not P, and you can write down your codes. You can just use the different the codes keywords. Here are three practices I would like you to try. I want you to notice that one and two are almost exactly the same. Yeah, the other the two so more questions. Keep in mind, I am going to ask you to pause and try these questions on your own, but it's okay if you don't know how to do this yet. Whenever I ask you to pause and try them on your own, it's just to challenge yourself and see how you're doing so that you know whether or not you totally get it or you need a little bit of extra practice. Um, I also want to point out that there's not just one correct way to do this. It completely depends on how you define your propositions. Um, so the way that I'm going to do it may or may not be the exact way that you are going to do it. That doesn't mean that you're wrong. It could be that you're right and just done it in another way. So if you would, press pause now and try this question. When you are ready, press play to see how you do. So when I'm looking at this first question, it says you can get a free sandwich on Thursday if you buy a sandwich or a cup of soup. Notice it's just an if here. And if I wanted to rewrite this in if then form, this would be the hypothesis. 
and my first statement would actually be the conclusion. So if I were to rewrite it, it would be, if you buy a sandwich for a cup of soup, then you can get a free sandwich on Thursday. So let's talk about how we can rewrite this using propositions. First of all, it's important that you define your propositions. So I'm going to start with the part that I've underlined in yellow, which is my hypothesis, because keep in mind, it's always in an implication, hypothesis implies conclusion. So I'm going to say, let P represent a by sandwich. And Q represents I buy a cup of soup. Which means the part that I have written in yellow can be now represented using E and Q as I buy a sandwich or I buy a cup of soup. And that's going to imply my conclusion. What is my conclusion? My conclusion says, I'm going to call that R, I get a free sandwich on Thursday. Now, some would say you should split that up into I get a free sandwich and it's Thursday uh, or some other way. I'm going to stick with R being I get a free sandwich on Thursday and therefore that is my solution. Now, let's take a look at question one versus question two. What is the difference between question one and question, question one and question two? No. Only if, rather than if. So the only thing so that's the only thing that's going to and again, you have to define what. And so I'm going to just cheat and say, hey, I'm using So just pretend I took the time to rewrite this. Any questions? Hello, just know if you have a question. If I have a question, yeah. uh, is it possible that uh, when we're writing our, our propositions, that by R, then put our arrow to rewrite in a different way? Is it possible? Starting from our, our last, uh, starting from R, then put our arrow, then P. Or a Is it possible? Uh, yeah, maybe it is also the translate it is that uh, you can translate the different uh, meaning. Maybe it is uh, also uh, in the nature we are discussing. There are maybe they have the equivalence. So uh, that means the final answer is not the only map. It is have the many. Just depend on you how to understand. So. Maybe no, uh, no, just the only one answer. You you can just depend on you. For example, you just say, I just write down this sentence, just means this means the problem. So this just depends on you how to understand what you mean the sentence. Just depend on you to understand, then you can translate your own knowledge expression. And here, just give this, this from this video's example. And he just did it to just give her understanding using this no problem. So uh, maybe you are also right, just to describe your meaning, no problem. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. That means for the same. For the same the sentence or for the same real question, maybe 100 people maybe write down the 100 codes or uh, to solve this the same question, no, no matter. But uh, in fact, if you just uh, translate the logic, also have the many the different logic expression. But if you just uh, to sometimes you can to uh, to check whether or not your logic expression is connected to the the real meaning is very important. If your meaning is wrong or if the meaning is different, then your logic expression is different. So, matter. Just depend on you how to understand what you mean. 
So sometimes, uh, if you just the conclude, for example, you, you can say, just as a meaning, you can say we just using the P means that it is not. We, are, we are don't want to abstract the not as the logic operator. We are just uh, as the symbols in the matter. It is also can say it is because um, RP is equal to uh, equal to your not P in the problem. It is also okay. Hey, Lord, uh, saying, is it possible to start by saying I can get if you still be your replacement? Then you write our if. Then uh, yeah. you buy sandwich or a cup of soap. Is it possible by starting to write in the distribution phase, writing our R at the front, followed by our R or the name P or a Q? Yeah, it, it, it is also you can just be using a P to describe the any. For example, P means I buy a cup of soap, and you are just accused of any the different no matter. And also, you are just using uh, a P or Q. Maybe this P is different for your for for the different. It is just also depend on to just uh, define what is the meaning for the different variable or different the proposition no matter. But uh, in fact, maybe uh, sometimes in the final examination, if we just make it uh, understand to make the uh, uh, member or student to write down the same the same the logic equation. So sometimes it's just to uh, write down in the uh, the the question is already to give you p means some something or q means something. And here just the practice just give you an idea how to translate. You know, just the this is okay. But to show you this a simple or example. No matter, don't worry about when or, or just to use this the proposition, the, the symbol or, or, or any other symbol, no matter. Just to give you this, uh, uh, this idea how to translate, and that means this translate just to give you the two step, just to understand this the two step is okay. okay. And uh, any other things just to keep on using. This, uh, Okay, for your question. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. Any other question? Okay, we continue the, the next to the example. Okay, we have five minutes break.
Okay, we continue to talk about uh, these uh, 
logic expression translation. Okay, so the translation is uh, our the, the important work or important step for our human. If we just using the computer to solve our real question, that means computer cannot understand directly what is in our human language. If that means this is our human work to translate your real question into the programming language. So how to translate or how to translate to have without the no logic uh, question or no logic uh, uh, the wrong the wrong logic question. So yes, it is our this course work. That means this course just uh, to give you this uh, logic expression or just to give you the translating how to uh, translate about the real question into the logic expression. Okay. Depend on this the logic expression you can run down your final code. So and why we just choose the logic as this middle layer between uh, the human language and the programming language or machine language because we know that how the machine how the computer machine maybe you have already the, the basic uh, idea or basic the uh, structure of the computer in the, the freshman layer okay so that means how the computer just the no layer the code machine or just the, the no layer it is just the only the, the two states the zero and one so the logic it is also depend on it is just the, uh, the two the two variables. We can know that for each the logical variable is only the two values, the truth or false. So that is why we have just defined this concept the proposition. So this proposition means that it is the declarative sentence. This can be seen as a simple sentence, but not all of the simple sentences can be described as your variable. That means you should this variable should be as that is either true or false, but not both. Then you can use the logic. So the proposition or logic variable it is have a special condition. Why? Because it is only can store or describe by our computer. Computer only have the two states zero and one. So this zero and one can describe zero. Maybe it referred to the false or one referred to the true. So you can only describe the two steps. You cannot describe the more step for the computer. So we only to describe your uh, declarative sentence or simple sentence. And this simple sentence maybe only have the truth or false, so it is a logic. So computer just choose the logic reals <clears throat> or logic theory as the basic theory. So logic theory also can be seen as the computer theory. So our course also can be called the computer mathematics. Okay, it's quite the mathematics, logic, logic. So it is the basic logic. And now we just uh, move on to and the next topic, and this topic just uh, means uh, uh, propositional equivalence. And uh, just uh, as we have shown that, or uh, means that the difference, the difference of the sentence may be translated the difference in logic expression, just as we have mentioned, or you have just uh, realized that it is uh, have uh, maybe have the many, many different uh, programming codes or just the different logic expression. So how to check or how to to, do, to uh, just check whether or not they are same or which one is uh, uh, very important or which one is uh, right or wrong related to the real meaning. So the first we should have a way to check whether or not they are equal or equal to each the expression uh, uh, logic expression. So uh, here just the two the uh, just the concept this is always true the tautology and the contradiction is always false. Always false for example here. That means for each the 
it is a logic expression. Okay. From for this logic expression means that P and not P. So that means this is, this is a contradiction because you uh, just the, from this is the truth table. This is the truth table, okay. From this truth table you will find it always the fourth thing we can say it is the uh, crash or it is a contradiction. And here P or not P. So it is always true because just depend on for each the all the possible true or false, we finally will get the always true. So here is always true. We can just say it's acknowledge. Acknowledge means that it is always true. It is so for example, if you just uh, as this is your condition, you can say if a or not a here a is logic variable, then blah blah blah. Then you will find this program cannot be stopped. It's always true. So here is a will be always wrong. Always wrong. For example, if you just uh, to to uh, this always true, it means the else cannot be wrong. If you just like this. If you sometimes sometimes if you just uh, for your loop statement, then your loop condition you are just write down like this, then you will find it also always true. So your loop statement cannot be stopped. So it is also sometimes be careful because we in the letter we are just talk about algorithm. Your algorithm should be stopped. Otherwise, you cannot to wait your final result from the computer. So this means uh, just this uh, always true or always false something. And just based on, based on this always true, so we just have this uh, logic equivalence. So logic equivalence, we can just write down this symbol. E is a logic equivalent Q, meaning that they are always this uh, by condition is always true. By condition is always true. But if we just use the truth table, then you can easy to understand. That means this truth table are the same. That means the truth table, whether or not the proposition just uh, depend on the different uh, value, but finally the results are same. The truth table are same. So sometimes we can use the truth table to determine the two logic expression whether or not they are equal. And for here. So uh, this uh, logic expression, this another logic expression, and from this. Uh, just for the formula, maybe it's the difference. There's a, a different things. But in fact, you will find uh, we have already in the first uh, session, we have just to describe from the video about the truth table, how to run on your truth table, okay? So for the first logic expression, and uh, this truth table from, uh, from each of the column, this is F, 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 T. And for this, the second logic expression, the just depend on the same, the same, this column, uh, same the rules, but uh, we are just get also the same the final without, without f f f t. That means if you get f, we also get f. We are get t, we also get t. We are get f f, we also get f f. Just the best on the same the input the value. So you, you can imagine that, for example, you can say this is your final code. You can say this is the code band, and here it is another code you are second people to run down this code too. And we just give you the input P and Q, P and Q. And for each, all the possible P and Q values, these are the two programming codes output are same, then we can say this is the true code or this is the programming uh, or this is the function or this is the procedures uh, that work as the same. And in the logic measure or logic expression, we can say they are equivalent. But this, this equivalence is not, is not they are same. They, are, they have the different, the different style, but they are Logical result is the same. 
so we can say the logic it is a logic equivalence okay so uh, it is in that here we confirm this the truth table we also can to show about this logic equation to this is the second logic equation they are just they have the same um, and just from this uh, uh, expression and uh, um, this is the truth table and the truth table is, this is the condition and uh, the condition we know that when the the proposition the p if the p the condition if if p then q if p is true then the final result is depend on this p or this q so if q is true, so the final result is true. If q is f, the final is f. But if your p, your condition p is wrong, so no matter this, no matter your your result q, the final result is all always true. So you can imagine that, uh, for example, in the if your condition is wrong, so based on the wrong condition, you cannot to, uh, to infer or to get the, any other the more information or just the real information. So we, we just give from these things, we say, if your condition is false, so we don't care about this, you know, choose the result, the final result is true. So, it is just the P condition Q, the final result we have already done the, the previous session, first session. Okay. And not P or Q. Similarly, we can get not P or Q, they have also T, F, T, T. It is the same for the second. For the first, this is the first logic expression, and the second expression, they are just to have the same, have the same truth table. And so this truth table is very important, or this uh, logic equation is very important. So we should to let you to recite always this uh, logic equivalence. Why? Because this gives us the way to translate or to just uh, using the, the other things to describe your this condition condition because p condition q is not the equivalent not p or q not p or q so this logic expression it is written from the logic server just to give us the way to for the computer so you will find for the computer the hardware have no the no operator no the circle operator or no electronic operator we only just do pass. We just only the pass operator. We have no condition and other things because for the condition, we can just using not or this or we can be seen as a pass or just to say you can sometimes this the uh, just using some the uh, the the hub. We can use the hub circle to describe this, and we didn't need this. The, so for the real question, if just the if p then for example a uh, plus or plus p and uh, one for example you are writing your this your real code this is a real code in you know, something okay so for this and when you compile your machine code they are finally just describe using this the logic equivalence you using the lot and or to describe this. We didn't use this. So this also maybe have this uh, a, little, a little higher machine, uh, machine code. Also use the programming code, but you can also, programming code also have described the high programming code, middle programming code, or just the machine code. So, for this the condition we are just uh, using can be using uh, the other the logic expression to describe this. So 
the just account is so this is the logical place in the you should to resize it remember it in the future okay and here is uh, another example and uh, here just uh, to uh this so uh for to this is the logical equivalence we just uh, give you uh, the more about the example from the video and the video just to show you about the logical expression. Also, to give you how to prove. Thank you. 
it must be true when that is the case. Here I have true and false. P is true, Q must be true, and that's not the case, so it's false. And P is false, it doesn't matter what Q is, the result is true. So here's my result. Then we examine the two. Typically, I just put a box around them and say, hey, look, hey, these two match up, therefore I have demonstrated that the two compound propositions are logically equivalent. Here's one more practice for us to try together. And again, I cheated a little bit and already set this up for you, but it's important that you know how to set it up yourself. So if you don't, I'm going to go through that very quickly. If you already know what you're doing, you can go ahead and start on the truth table um, and just ignore it we talk to you. So again, what I would do to start is say, how many propositions do I have? I have P and Q as two, so I take two to the second power because there's two propositions. So that means I need four rows. I need a column for P and a column for Q. And I go ahead and put them on true and false, false, true, false, false. Yes, I'm going through that part kind of quickly. Then I need a column for every part of the proposition. So I have P and Q here. And then my final solution is not Q. And then I've got not P, which I need a column for. And I've got not Q, which I need a column for. And then I've got my final result, which is not P or not Q. Now that I have everything set up correctly, let's go ahead and my first column that I'm going to fill in. I think this is the arrows is P and Q. And remember for and, both values must be true to result in true. So P and Q, if this is true, true, will this be true? This one, they're not both true. They're not both true here. They're not both true here. So there's my new column. Now to fill in, not P and Q. Negates anything here, so true becomes false. False becomes true. False becomes true. False becomes true. So that is the column that I am going to prepare for here. So let's go ahead and fill in what we need to for the other columns. This is not P, that becomes false, false, true, true. This is not P, which becomes false, true, false, true. And then this one is not P or not Q. So we're going to be dealing with the four. Dealing with the uh, one or the other must be true. So is one or the other true? No. So it's false. Is one or the other true? Yes. 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 Sorry, you can see that very well. False. True. True. So as we can see, comparing this column, this column, we see that they are logically equivalent if they return the exact same truth values. So I'm going to try it over here. So I'm going to do this pause, try this question, and then when you are ready, press play to see how you did. So again, hopefully this should be pretty quickly for you. And again, hopefully you understand how to actually set up this table. But remember here, we're just going to do true, 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 true. False, 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 false. And then true, true, false, false. True, true, false, false. And then alternate. True, false, true, false, true, false. That way we know we have all of the different combinations. And then again, how did I set this up? I have the column already for P. I needed to create the column for Q and R. I needed to create a column for P or Q. Create a column for P, so P or R. And then, of course, the ones that I have in gray will be complete compound proposition that I'm going to be comparing. So, without further ado, let's get started. Here we have Q and R, and remember that means both of them must be true for this to be true. So that's a true, no, 
This is just a very important uh, uh, logical experience. Identity, 
Domination laws, the word true is equivalent to true. The and false is equivalent to false. The adepotent laws, the or keys is equivalent to the and keys is equivalent to the. The double negation laws. Okay, just a bit of, uh, to the short video, just to show you about the notary criminal, how to use the truth table to determine whether or not the notary criminal is 
if you're not in your presence, are not are uh, equal, but they equalize. Okay. And uh, here maybe we also have uh, this we also have already shown you about this. It also can be the just a connect about all the general or um, optional is the logic equivalent expression. And uh, we also have uh, to uh, about this uh, Morgan, Morgan laws. Morgan laws mean that it is just the to want to push because here is the not and it is an outside not. But we want to push this not the inside then we can say not this symbol is very strong. So that means when you just push, when you just meet everything you want to change. When I just meet P, you change it to not P. You just meet this logic expression or logic operator and you just change it. And if you just meet the second, third the symbol Q, it just change is the not Q. So you can, from this idea, you can say this Morgan law means that we want to push the, this not symbol inside to this. And when they meet anything, they want to change it. When you meet P, they change it to not P. And meet the operator and it change to O, meet Q, change to not Q. And similarly, you can say this, we are just push inside, we are meet P, we are change. We are meet operator O, we are change. And we are meet Q, we are change, not Q. So from this way, we can just generate the more non-sign, that means uh, from this idea, we can directly to write down your uh, very uh, non, for example, P and Q or R, then we can just directly to write down its uh, logic uh, equivalence expression. That means we are to push P, not P. We are, and we are change O. We are meet Q, not Q. We are meet O, we are change and We are meet R, we are change O R. So this is a maybe the simple or uh, simple idea to remember to using this mobile law. You can just uh, using uh, just the signs with the two uh, variables and uh, and be generated to the more uh, sign. That means. You, you just imagine or remember that this not this not symbol is very strong. When we put this not symbol inside, it meet anything you want to change it, want to change it, no matter it is a, a proposition variable or logical operator to change into the outside. And here is a absorption law. Here is a absorption law. Absorption law means that, for example, from the left side, we have not only have P, we also have Q, but the right side, we only have P. We no matter have Q. That means we don't care about Q. The final result is P. So absorb your Q is absorption, absorption law. Absorption law. Okay. This is just to have uh, this, and this here also uh, another um, the special the logic. We just should let you to remember this. We also have you in the truth table for this. P condition Q is equal to not P or Q. Not P or Q is very important. And uh, any other things, and here we that's also to issue uh, equivalents about it. That means if you can just uh, to use, you can to uh, contact in a new logic equivalents just using uh, this existing logic, not just only use the truth. So uh, 
just the first on this the table, many of the people existing already have the proof this uh, uh, logic equivalent. We can just use this equivalent to prove the new equivalents. So you can use directly, not only uh, using the two table. So when you let you to choose something or uh, two logic equivalents, you can have the two where the first you use the truth table and the second you, you can use it when you can this kind of logic you this kind of logic and the truth table like this. So okay now uh, this time we have the homework and this homework and let you to show about is the true logic improvements uh logic improvements and you have two uh two ways either of them is okay, just depend on you. If you like, you can use the truth table to show this. And also, sometimes, if you don't want to use the truth table, you can also use the, this uh, existing the truth table. This the truth table. You can use the existing the, uh, equivalence table. And based on this equivalent table, you can just like this. find uh, a homework uh, answer and just maybe after this uh, time you can just uh, close the homework submission okay. now maybe we have just uh, four minutes for your discussing time or question time any question for this or for this homework homework Use what the Okay, you're not clear. I, yeah, the only thing you just let me for this homework how to submit your homework answer. Yes, I use what matter. Yeah, you, you, you can just, uh, uh, for example, you can write down your hard paper and then you just take the picture and submit the picture. Okay. 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 Any more questions? I should remember to sign in in the new info group. And maybe this uh, sign in is uh, okay. If you have any question, you can connect with uh, the teacher assistant. Oh, shoot. Well, we have to submit our homework. Uh, we have not published. I will publish after this class. Sorry. Close. Uh, sorry, I didn't attend the class on time because of some problem in my phone. But what? This was wrong. Okay, even no more questions, that's what they if you have any question, you can just write down your question on the info group or which other group in matter we can see. Okay? Bye bye. That's what they Bye bye.